So to talk about confusion matrices in different contexts, you might remember the work that Katie showed you on principal component analysis on PCA, where we um, looked at seven different, uh, I guess, white male politicians from George Bush to Gerhard Schröder. And we ran an eigenphase analysis, extracting the principal components of this data set, and then reused the eigenphases to remap new faces to names in order to identify people. So what I'm going to do now is I won't drag you through the same PCA example again, so let's do away with those faces. But instead, uh, what I'll do is I'll give you a typical output, and we're going to study the output using confusion matrices. So Katie was so nice as to run a PCA on the faces of those politicians and then take the resulting features, put into a support vector machine, and then go through the data and count how often any of those people were predicted correctly or misclassified. And just to confuse everybody, in this example, we follow the convention of putting the true names, the true class labels on the left and the predicted ones on top. So for example, this number one over here was truly Donald Rumsfeld, or was mistaken to be Colin Powell. And the way I know it's Colin Powell is the same names over here, from Ariel Sharon to Tony Blair, apply to the columns over here, where Ariel Sharon is on the left and Tony Blair is on the right. So we'll ask you a few questions now. First, a simple one. Which of those seven politicians was most frequent in our data set? 